As leader please. of the Energy Minimization Multiscale Group, mm -hmm. can you please tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? I'm currently working as a chemical engineer and exploring how a chemical reaction in the laboratory can be scaled up to commercial production in industry. That involved uh, not only chemical reaction, but also the transport of energy, momentum, and mass between different materials. Calls for the detailed analysis uh, in a system. However, my education background is from power engineering, where the global or system analysis is the Euro practice. So my transfer from power engineering to chemical engineering gave me the capabilities to integrate the advantages from both sides. That is, integrate the, the detailed analysis and the system analysis. That is very important for multi-scale research. You've authored uh, and edited several books on process engineering. Can you tell us a little bit about your research? No. I'm leading a big group, and the group has focused on the, the mesoscale modeling of multi-scale problems for uh, three decades. Uh, in 1984, I came to the Institute of Process Engineering of, of Chinese Academy of Sciences for my PhD program and the supervision of Professor Mu Sun Kwok. He asked me to study the particle aggregating phenomena in gas solid system. In such system, particles are not uniformly distributed in gas, but aggregate together to form particle clusters or particle aggregates. That gives a critical influence uh, the chemical reaction and also mass transfer. Therefore, it is a big challenge for chemical engineering at that time. We recognize that the particle aggregating phenomena originated from the compromise between gas and the solids. And uh, based on such uh, recognition, we established the, uh, the stability conditions for gas solid system, leading to the, the, the so-called energy minimization multi-scale model, the EMS model. In 1994, we uh, published a book in English entitled Particle Fluid Two-Phase Flow. The subtitle is energy minimization multi-scale method. Then we go to question why your stability condition is correct and how can we use your EMS model? That is a big question for us. We have to uh, convince the people to convince the, the, the fellow scientists. We proposed a discrete simulation approach to verify the stability conditions of the EMS model. And uh, we also try to apply the EMS model to different system, uh, particularly apply the EMS model to the uh, computational fluid dynamics. All of these efforts are successful. In 2005, we wrote the second book but in Chinese, to summarize the, our uh, efforts for the second uh, decades. Uh, but uh, the audience is quite limited for the second book. Your most recent book, uh, From Multiscale Modeling to Mesoscience, will be published by Springer pretty soon. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the book. Yeah. The book uh, summarizes our research for the last three decades, 
from principle to application and uh, generalization to different fields. And also the, we proposed the, the emerging science that is the missile science. We also gave perspectives for the virtual process engineering, the future for the chemical engineering. Of course, the book will be used in, in chemical engineering because we, the book is uh, originated from chemical engineering. And uh, also could be used for material science and for, for the resources, environment engineering and, uh, and uh, even the biochemical engineering and uh, multiphysics, fluid dynamics, uh, all of it which involves, involves multi-scale problems and multi-scale analysis. The objective, the objective of this book is to trigger the research and uh, attract attention from the scientific community of different fields on the missile science. And it is not for, for supplying the complete knowledge of missile science. Missile science is too big for such a book, just the starting part. The book is just uh, gave some cues or indications there is a possibility to establish a missile science. If missile science is in its infancy, as you say, what inspires you to write this book at this juncture? That is a very good question. And, uh, mm, first, we recognize from our three decades research, we recognized the critical importance of the missile scale phenomena for different fields. The second, we also recognized there is a possibility to establish a common principle for different missile scales. And further, we identified the compromise in competition between different dominant mechanisms is the universal principle for missile scales, different missile scales. That is what we are recognized. We believe that is important for the future. That encourage us to publish this book at such a very early stage. Can you say a little bit about mesoscience? What is it exactly? Very interesting problems. And uh, let me try to give you a uh, note definition, but just what uh, I understood. Yeah? In landing, missile means middle or in between. In science and uh, engineering, we start many different systems or problems. We call the system or problems as the global, as the uh, uh, a large scale. And uh, each system consists of many elements, the small elements we call small scale. And between small scale and large scale, there are very complicated phenomena in between, in between the element and the systems. We call the missile scale phenomena. Let me uh, explain a little bit on the missile scale. You know, missile scale is not an uh, absolute physical dimension size. Uh, missile scale is different from mesoscopy. Yeah? Mesoscopy is uh, absolute physical dimension size. Yeah? But our definition from the book, missile scale means in between, between small scale and large scales. The small and the large are relative concept. Yeah? For, for material size, the small scale means molecular, and the the large scale means the, the bulk material. For the chemical engineering, small scale means single particles, and the large scale means reactor. For the material science, the missile scale means the molecular clusters, and for the, for the chemical engineering, missile scale means the, the particle aggregates. The study of, 
of uh, interacting phenomena and uh, measure scales uh, through experiment and the simulation. Of course, also in uh, the theoretical analysis is measure size. Measure size is to try to looking for the common principles for all of measure scales. So that is the, the, the missile size. Can you say a little bit about the uh, application of meso science within industry? No. We have many engineering and also scientific problems challenging us for many years. And uh, personally, I believe all of these challenge issues are blocked and missile skills. If we could have the, uh, make progress on the understanding of missile scale phenomena, we may well make revolutionary change for different fields. So that is the importance for the missile size. You know, to realize the virtual process engineering, that is the real-time simulation of the whole chemical process in computer. We need accurate simulation. We need rapid simulation. And we need efficient computer. For all of this, missile scale problems are critical. If you can understand missile scale problems very well, we could realize the, the accurate, efficient, and rapid simulation. Otherwise, it is very difficult. Whether or not the virtual process engineering could be realized, that is depends on the progress of missile size. That's the situation for chemical engineering. And I believe, personally, I believe the big progress in different fields are also subject to the missile size. If we could make progress on missile science, we will make revolutionary progress in different issues. I think now we need uh, interdisciplinary cooperation between different fields. Because for looking for a common principle, we need to study different problems in different fields and then extract the common principle and formulate with a unified mathematical physical argument. So the working together uh, between the scientists from different fields are critical for the development of uh, measure size. That is not a science for a single field, a science for different fields. We just proposed the importance of missile science, but for the real missile science, we need uh, global cooperation. Mm -hmm. And interdisciplinary. Yes, 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 yeah. that's right. It's uh, quite universal problem, mm -hmm. and uh, studied by many different fields, but the, the people didn't recognize they are stud they are study the missile scales. Yeah. If missile science established, so that is really a big issue, much bigger issue than any single technology. Then, then it's right. I know, yes, then it's, it's right. a, this is too much big yeah. issue. Yeah. So for me, I just emphasize the importance of missile science and the possibilities of the missile science. Mm not give the knowledge. What you're doing now is you're continuing to uh, doing more, more and more experiment, experiments and, and computations uh, to move mesoscience along and establish it more as a, as a science. No, what we are doing is to, to confirm such a prediction and uh, recognition and uh, to formulate the mathematical and uh, physical argument. Uh, discipline needs 
common principle and the mathematics of uh, the theoretical argument. So now we just uh, predict the common principle, but we need continue to make efforts to have uh, uh, a mathematic and a physical argument. But that's a big job. That mm -hmm. needs uh, efforts from different fields. Last few questions I have, Professor Lee, is um, one of them is, how did you get to know Springer? What made you decide to publish your book with us? The Springer is, of course, a very famous publisher in the world. And uh, I like many scientists. I read many books from Springer, and especially I'm attracted by the Springer uh, interdisciplinary series of book. And uh, I also have a regular interaction with Springer because I'm in charge of the publishing publication issues in the Chinese Academy of Sciences. And uh, I was impressed very much by the reliability quality of the Springer and also as well as the, the very good uh, um, language editing service from their partner uh, Edas. Well we look forward to the book publishing soon. I thank you very much for this interview.